Hello, and thank you for joining me today. This is Susie with Susie's Sensations, and I'm so happy, happy that you're here with me. So today I'm going to make a really simple card, but a fun one, using the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set. This is in the January to June mini catalog, and it is on page 44. And the good news about this is it will be in the upcoming catalog as well. It's not going to retire. So I'm not going to use the punch today since it's back ordered, but I am going to use the flower images, which shows you don't have to always do strawberries. Lots of, lots of options with this stamp set. So this is the card I'm going to make. I've done a few different variations. I will say I'm using a few retired products. I just was cleaning up some things on my desk and found some old things that I like and you know I have them I like to use them so um, you'll see a few things that are not available but there's always things you can replace them with okay so let's get started so I'm starting with granny apple green as my card base eight and a half by eleven cut in half okay and then I'm using a piece of the a very delightful designer series paper that was from Celebration that came with this. Again, it is retired, but uh, I love it and I'd like to use it. You can choose any designer paper that you have um, and just you'll change your colors to coordinate with that. So I'm going to start by putting that down. Oops, Get my stamp and seal. Okay, let's see, I think I like it this direction. And there we go. And then we need a label or a punch of some sort. I chose a retired one, but uh, we do have plenty of others. Um, scallop oval punch that was new in this category catalog that would work well here um, if you have any of our layering circles or layering ovals that would work well um, but this is the one that I'm choosing sorry I have some glue on my finger okay so I am going to make this a thank you card and I will choose the that was so sweet of you image from the stamp set that's this one. And I'm going to put that right in the middle of my label with Pacific Point ink. Let me get this out of the way. And that's just a practical sentiment that we can use for lots of occasions. Okay. Let me clean that off. Look at my stamp. Simply Chamois. If you don't have a Simply Chamois yet, they just work amazingly well to get your stamps clean. Okay, so next I'm going to do a few little blue flowers and have a little scrap here. I am going to get my um, Pacific Point again. So this is going to be a two-step flower, and I always recommend when you're stamping anything two-step, and two-step if you're not sure what that is, it's just when you use two different stamps to make one image, and it's a good way to get um, multiple colors on one image. So anyway, when you're doing a two-step, I find it easiest to do the darker color first. Uh, you can see it whenever you're ready to do the next color. So I'm just going to do one flower here. I've actually already stamped the rest that I need, so I'm going to just show you one. And I do like to clean my stamps as I go, just to prevent staining. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, and I would do three of these for this card. And then the filled in color is this stamp. And I'm gonna do that in balmy blue, a lighter color. Okay. 
Okay, and because we can see right through and I have the darker outline, I can line that up pretty well. And I love these kind of images that are um, some light and some dark. It has a watercolor look with just one stamp. Makes you look like you're fancier than you are. Okay, let me just blot that off and clean it. Okay, and then there's a smaller flower in here. And this time I'm gonna do it in Daffodil Delight. I'm actually gonna put both the images on here. So, Daffodil Delight. Whoop, better close this before I get my fingers in it. Okay, and I will do my outline first. And this I'm gonna put on my label, kind of right under my words here. And then with the same color. So you don't always have to have two colors for two-step stamping. I'm gonna use my same color and go right over that. And there you go. And clean those off. Oops. Well, since that just fell down, take a moment to show you the butterfly brilliance. If you haven't seen this, this is an early release that will be uh, that's available now, but it's going to be in the new catalog that starts on May fourth. But you can actually order it early. You can order it now, and it has is this one very large butterfly background with all of these, and it has a matching um, set of dies that come with it. Let me show you that real quick. Unrelated to this project, but let me just show you. So we have all of these dies, and this large one will cut out that whole image, which is pretty cool. Whoops, it goes like this, actually. The image is reduced just a little, so um, there you go. Okay, so let's cut all those out, and then you can snip between them if you want, or you can keep it full, and then you have a detailed butterfly and um, some background pieces and make really neat accents and more. Look at all those. So it's a really great set. Lots of images in here. And like I say, even though this is in the upcoming catalog, you can actually pr you can actually order it now. And there's this really pretty, there are several leaves in here, but I like this branch that's got um, some flower and some leaves, which would be great on its own, but I'm just gonna use a little piece of it. I'm actually gonna use just right up here. Whoops. So for this, I'm gonna go with Pear Pizzazz, which is the same color as my um, cardstock card base. So I really just need a little bit of this here, and I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna keep my spot kind of clean here. I'm gonna put it right here around the words. There we go, a little leaf there. So next, the other fun part about this stamp set is that this flower matches our small blossom punch. So not only is there a strawberry punch that will do a strawberry and leaves, but there is the blossom that matches, that coordinates with the same set. set. So I'm gonna just punch one of those out. Oops. There we go. And again, that was the small blossom punch. And then I have a couple others already punched out. And now we can put the card together, which comes together really quickly. And I am going to just put this down flat. I'm not, not going to pop this up yet. Some seal. Okay, right about there. And then I'm gonna put one flower right in this corner here. And put one 
down here. Let's see, I think I like that way. And then this one I am going to pop up with a Stampin' Dimensional. As you can see, there's not much to this card. You don't have to get fancy to create a nice, fun card that your recipient will love. And I'll put that one up. And then just for a little accent, I did a few different versions and I think the one I like uses the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins. And I'm gonna do this one a little different. I think I'm gonna put a blue one on this one here. And you can still see the dots through that, the dots of the flower, which I really like. And let me think. I think I might do the yellowish color. Pinkish yellow. I'll put one here. Whoops. Uh oh. I don't know where that one went. Put one there. And I'll go back to the blue. And I'll do the little ones here. There we go. So there you have it. A quick and simple but sweet card using the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set. And I did uh, did slightly different with a different size a designer series paper here. And here I used the red Artist Dream Bloom sequins. And then this, the first one that I did, I used the pearl that is part of the frosted and clear epoxy droplets and those are really neat um, it just sticks up more and I, I wanted something flatter to mail these so yeah hope you enjoyed that and go ahead and check my details if there's anything that you need to purchase or would like more more information you can find it on my website suzycal.com and my un online ordering is suzyk.stampinup.net and you'll see all that information below. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.